Chad, I should be talking to you, not to the camera. Yeah, don't just pretend I'm not here. Okay. Right. I'm gonna do yes. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> thanks. So, uh, thanks for the time. Thanks for t I know this can be a grind for you guys doing this all the time, so we really appreciate you coming here. No problem, my pleasure. So, you guys have a criti critical success from... Criticized. You almost said criticized. No, 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 critical success. People have loved you, the critics, and it's hard to make the critics love you because they're a, they're a finicky bunch. But you've had that from the very beginning. Now you've got some commercial success. Yeah, we've been really lucky to uh, be sort of embraced uh, even before we were making any money, you know, we did get a lot of good reviews, even, um, and that, to be honest, that meant a lot, you know, it, it kept us uh, optimistic. And we are, we're starting to to, um, to, uh, to make some money, and, and um, yeah, it feels great, honestly, and, and it's, it's, it's just nice that finally we're reaching a, a much bigger audience. The, uh, the industry has changed such a degree to a dramatic degree, uh, uh, I mean, it's nothing like it was 10 years ago. When you guys started, uh, it's, it doesn't resemble what it was, right. in my eye, anyway. Do you think that's uh, really helped? Helped it's the band like the it's, hep, it's definitely helped our band and bands like ours. Um, bands don't get rich, I think, the way they used to. I mean, some bands do. Mm -hmm. I mean, some bands, um, they're, they're still uh, the, you know, there's bands that become popular on a mainstream level where you... Uh, you know, but there's no such thing as like Led Zeppelin anymore. Mm -hmm. that kind of, as far as I can tell, but uh, but there's a lot of a lot more small bands and and uh, you know a lot more artists um, can can make a sustainable sort of career out of out of making music. Where I think um, that was wasn't quite possible before. It's because it's 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 much more spread out. There's just there's so many. You know, sort of niche uh, uh, websites and forums that talk about little things. So, so, so a band without getting any radio exposure or any you know you know media exposure can develop a, a fan base of just you know with a, with a, through a MySpace page and um, and can go around and play uh, clubs and maybe sometimes it's just a little regional area where they can do it, but then they can pay their bills and. Uh, that's the that's the biggest and most significant and positive sort of shift of the industry. Hi, Violet is just. Uh, I mean, I know you're here, so <laughs> I'm not going to say it, it. It it's an awful record. It is nowhere close to being. It is just one of the. It's my favorite record of the year so far, um, and um, and I mean, that was a little awkward. Um, and I know that you uh, were quoted as saying that uh, you, you you wanted to get the songs first. And then add the lyrics, but to me, the National is uh, is a very lyric-driven band. Um, I, I'm just I'm not quite sure. You know, was the emphasis more on the actual song structure itself, and then the lyrics were were an afterthought? It takes a long time to get get um, lyrics working for me, and and it's it's what I it's my main job. It's the one thing I can really contribute. Um, uh, since I don't know how to play the guitar, um, so I take it really seriously. The difference with High Violet is that I've, at, towards the the beginning of the writing process, I didn't I didn't worry about the lyrics. I was just trying to find melodies, and um, uh, so there became a time where then I had to shift into the into the, the lyric mode and, and try to uh, you know focus more on that. But I wanted the priority towards the beginning was was melody, which had never been the way I had approached it before. Usually, I had lyrics and just tried to figure out how to sing those to the song, and that worked. But I just wanted to try it a different way with High Violet. I think it, I think this record melodically is is for me. I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm singing better and singing in, in ways that I hadn't before, and having more more fun with melody than I had on on this record than I had before. So it was a. Uh, it was a challenge I sort of put to myself to like write the melodies. That's really what's the most important, and then figure out the words later. I know I was uh, I was food shopping, and uh, conversation sixteen came on my uh, my iPhone, and the uh, got my head in the oven, so you'll know where I'll be. There it came out, and I started laughing, and I thought, oh my god, <laughs> I hope that didn't come from a real place. Did did that song come from a real place? <laughs> no, no, no. I was I did I have never. Uh, I, I've never intentionally had my head in any ovens, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, no. There's there's humor all over the record, and I think there's humor in in all of our records, and probably almost every one of our songs. There's a lot of 
uh, ridiculous imagery and, and um, you know gallows humor or whatever and uh, that's definitely an example of that but um, we've been a band that um, I think people focus on on the uh, the the drama the melodrama of it a lot and and it's there's melodrama there. Uh, you know, in spades, in, in on purpose, and it's something I have always embraced. It's the people like Leonard Cohen and Nick Cave and and Morrissey can can make uh, high art out of just you know being melodramatic, and it's and it's indulgent and it's fun, but there's also a whole undercurrent of uh, self-deprecation and and, and uh, you know sort of taking the piss out of it um, at the same time, and that's what where which is what those guys did too, and so I think it's 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 a balance. You were involved with uh, Obama's campaign. Uh, used a couple of your tunes. Uh, how do you think he's done? I think he. Um, I mean, I know I, I know Washington must be a really hard place to get anything done. But I. Bush, got more things done, you know, and just did them and didn't care, you know, and didn't uh, didn't ask for permission or just. You know, I, I wish Obama would not play by the rules. Frankly, I wish. Um, I'm optimistic, and and I and I, and I, I hope that um, you know, it'll it'll uh, will move forward. And, and but I, I I I wish he would just really just push harder, and um, and sort of you know answer questions later um, instead of trying. Is that something you guys would do as a band again, get involved uh, with yeah. politics? Yeah, it's important. Yeah, well, I mean, I never really thought of it as our band getting involved. And, like, the politics, like, I'll talk about politics on a personal level here, but uh, the band doesn't really talk too much about politics. The politics don't really come into our songs very much. Like a song like Fake Empire, which is sort of a political song, but it's more about trying to avoid thinking about it because it's always too depressing, and that's what... You know, during Bush's reign, um, that's that song was a reaction to you know, to just trying to pretend that that, that you lived in a, some sort of made up a cartoon fantasy world because the real one was so uh, bleak. But um, but I try to keep. I think we we don't like politics to come into our music very much because we're, to be perfectly honest, we're 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 you know five very different people and and we don't want the the band to be a platform for any one of our political ideas and I mean we're all pretty much lefties but uh, it's not what the band is about it's about an escape from thinking about a lot of that kind of stuff well it's been a sweet escape your music and uh, we appreciate you making it and I really appreciate your time and have a My great pleasure. show tonight man. thanks a lot thanks a lot yeah